Welcome to 40 Days of Back to School Prayer, and today we're going to be praying for a new spirit to be placed upon our schools according to the scriptures of Ezekiel 11, 17 through 21. Let's pray. Father, we praise you and thank you because you are the one who has created a divine plan to gather all nations. Thank you for allowing various nations and ethnic groups to gather at our schools and workplaces so that they have another opportunity to inherit the earth. We acknowledge that because the earth belongs to you, Lord, we can only inherit the earth according to your plans to gather the nations. As students return to school to begin each new day, we pray that they return ready to remove every vile image and detestable idol that has stood in the way of their inheritance and even divided their hearts, thus perpetuating disobedience. Father, if Caleb and Joshua learned how to be of a different spirit amongst all of Israel, we pray that you would give our students a new and clean spirit for every new day that you give to them. May our students' hearts be so refreshed from their vacations, recesses, and weekends away from school that their hearts will be more willing to follow and execute their teachers' commands with greater fidelity than the former years. As teachers and administrators continue to advance through phases of professional development, we pray that they would relinquish teaching practices that have become idols that hinder the move of God in our classrooms. Give our administrators and school leaders fresh decrees that come directly from your throne room. And may these school leaders be careful to keep every law and command that you have written on their hearts. We declare that students, teachers, and administrators are now gaining momentum toward their membership in God's family. We declare that more students, teachers, and administrators are abandoning the leadership of every spirit that has caused them to be disobedient and, in turn, are embracing the leadership of the Holy Spirit to confidently commune with one another in the schools that you have created. May our students, teachers, and administrators part ways with every vile imagination and idol so that their heads will not be weighed down with confusion, misery, doubt, and destruction. We thank you for the power to overcome the sin nature and its progressive effects on the minds and spirits of our students, teachers, and administrators. We thank you for your faithfulness to put a new spirit, your Holy Spirit, in the members of our school communities. And it is in the name of Jesus that we pray, amen.